If you are having low FPS stutters and FPS drops while playing games on your PC because of low GP usage, so guys, you are on the right place. Because through in this video, I'm gonna show you the simple and the straight way how to fix the low GP usage on your PC. So guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video, and let's get straight into over this video. So guys, in the very first step, the main reason of the low GP usage that is the throttle stop. So guys, we are going to disable that setting from our PC. So guys, for that, simply press Windows R together from your keyboard, and you will find out here this one window. Now simply type here GP MSC and press Enter. This will open up this group policy editor window on your computer. Now you need to go for this computer configuration folder. Now go for administrative template. Now go for system. Now scroll down and you will find out here power management folder. So simply go inside it. Now you need to go for power throttling settings folder. And here you will find out turn off power throttling. So double tap here. Now you need to enable the settings on your PC for turning off the power throttling. And this can work on your Windows 10 and 11 on your both operating system. Simply hit apply, click OK and close out your this window. Now in the next step, you need to download this advanced optimization pack on your PC for fixing the low GPU usage and optimizing your CPU. So guys, in the very first step, you need the throttle stop on your PC. You can find out the link in the description. Simply go there and download these files on your PC. So in the very first step, open up throttle stop application on your PC. Simply right click here and make sure to run this as an administrator for having the full access. So run this as an administrator. Here you will find out a warning sign. Simply read here this description. Now click on this OK button. So guys, here is the very simple interface of the throttle stop. Now in the very first step, you need to go for this profile option. So here we got the performance profile, then game profile, internet profile, and then battery saving profile. But we need the best performance for gaming. So go for your gaming plan. Now check mark onto the high performance and simply select here this power plan. After that here, you will find out clock mode set multiplier speed shift epp disable turbo then bd pro short then taskbar log file speed step c1 and guys other options you will simply leave all this option because clock mode set multiplier and speed shift is for the old cpus like if you are using the intel dual core so guys this option work for that pc but guys if you are using a new like i3 i5 i7 i9 cpu so guys simply skip this step or you can simply select it but this will not impact on your pc performance so guys simply uncheck these boxes now if this option is enabled on your pc so guys simply turn it on because it is already enabled on my pc by default now here you will find out the save option so guys save the settings after that turn on this option now you need to go for this tpl option and here you will find out disable control option for your power limit so simply uncheck this option now here you will find out this long power pl and short power pl option by default if you are getting the left value like simply right click here go for task manager here you will get this task manager window now you need to go for this performance option and here you will find out the clock speed of your cpu you can increase the speed of your cpu by simply increasing this value i have i5 12 gen processor so guys i have set it on 135 180 but guys if you have a low end pc you can simply set this value on 100 and 100 for increasing the clock speed of your cpu that will automatically fix your low gp usage and high cp usage but guys i'm going with the default settings that is the disable control because this will automatically all this thing automatically because i have already enabled the turbo clock from the bio settings of my computer so therefore i'm not using this option but i suggest you to use it if it is enabled on your pc and set the value on 100 for having the best performance out of your pc so once you're done now click on the supply button hit ok now simply turn on the settings hit save again and now click on this minimize button and this application will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your pc now the next step you need quick cpu on your pc simply open up this rr file and install the quick cpu on your pc and guys here is the interface of the quick cpu this is actually used for optimization of your cpu so now you need to go for the signal icon that is the high performance balanced performance and minimum performance so guys select it onto the maximum performance of your cpu this will enable all these options hit accept and save the settings 
Now the next step here you will find our utilization, temperature, clock speed, power data. So go for this power plan option, set it on quick CPU scheme. Now here you will find our power mode. So go for it and set it on maximum performance overall. Once you enable these settings here you will find out your CPU data like your GPU, like your processor name, code name and all the other things. Now you need to simply scroll down, go toward your core parking, set it on 100%, frequency scaling, set it on 100%, then turbo boost, set it on 100%. Then go for P and E core policy, set it on heterogeneous policy, performance, set it on 100%. Now go for this AC or DC, simply set it on AC. After that hit apply and save the settings on your PC. Once you apply all the settings, now you need to go for this advanced CPU settings. Now go for all control, there you will find a journal, so turn on turbo boost. Enhance speed step, turn it on, bidirectional pro short. Enable this option. Now here you will find that clock modulation, simply turn off the settings. Now performance energy policy, set it on the high performance. Core, Limit and Ratio, Turbo Power Long Duration, Turn it on, Turbo Power Short Duration, Turn it on, Clamp Limit 1, Turn on the settings and turn off Clamp Limit 2 off, so turn off the settings, after that, now click on the Supply button and apply these changes in the Quick CPU application, now close out it and also close out of your Quick CPU application. So guys, now the next step, we are going to optimize our Windows power plan settings. So for that, you need to go for your Windows search, search for power, and you will find out, choose a power plan settings from your control panel. So select out here this profile, that is the quick CPU scheme. Go for change plan settings. Go for change advanced power settings. Now simply look at the hard disk, turn off hard disk, and set it on zero. This will guys decrease the resources usage in the background. I'll scroll down, go for USB. USB select with suspended settings, enable it on your PC, Intel graphics settings, set it on maximum performance, now scroll down, go for processor, power management and guys set this option on 100%, maximum processor frequency set it on 0 MHz, minimum processor state 100% and maximum processor state on to the 100%. By the way, if you are getting the CPU button lacking like 100% CPU usage, so you can reduce this value onto the 90% for fixing that on your PC. Now hit apply, click OK and close out your Windows Power Plan. Now you need to one time list your PC, therefore all the changes take effect. After that, launch your PC again and enjoy the best performance out of your CPU and GPU at the same time. I hope you love it, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel and see you again in the next video.